Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video on survival multiplayer with Dagoin. So it is time to start the sugar beet harvest because the first field is ready. The big field is still not ready yet, this one here, but the smaller one of the two that we drilled first is now finally ready to harvest so we can get our sugar productions going and uh, obviously that will lead on to the candy productions um, and hopefully lots of money as well, which is obviously the ultimate aim. Uh, so yeah, we're going to take the sugar beet harvester over to this first field. We'll only be doing one of them today, in fact we might not even get this one done, I don't know how long it's going to take this, it's going to be quite a big job I think. Um, we're probably going to take it in turns to drive the harvester or maybe even put it on a, a helper as well. Um, it's, this is a, a slow job. It's nowhere near as fast as harvesting a, uh, a regular grain crop with, with a combine. So yeah, it's not the wireless machine, but it will get the job done. and. Uh, the important thing and um, obviously we do as well get a lot more mass of crop off sugar beet than what we would off a, a wheat crop or anything like that the amount of crop you get in the hopper is huge it's um, a lot more so there's going to be a, a pretty much a full-time casting job involved with getting this uh, sugar beet to the sugar mill and then obviously on to the productions to make candies so here we are we're running we are harvesting, we've already got 3,000 litres in the tank, we've only been going for a few seconds, so with a combine that would be like 10 minutes work, maybe not for a bite, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I think I will continue with this, it's obviously going to be quite a slow job, that's the downside of it, so uh, it's going to have to be time ups quite a lot, because I'm sure you don't want to sit through real time sugar beet harvesting all this time, because it's, even just to do this smaller field it's going to take us, I would I guess most of the episode, if not more than this, just this episode, so uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a slow job. But we'll get there, and once we have got it done, the money we should make off the products made from the sugar is going to be pretty good, I think. A little bit of luck anyway. So uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes, but first time doing uh, the proper full sugar production. We've obviously, I've, in another series I've made sugar before, out of the sugar beet, and sold that, but I've never made um, candies before, that's a brand new thing for me, it's a mod that we've installed. So uh, yeah, that'll be interesting to see how that works really. I think Dagoin was talking about buying a wheel loader as well when we've got the money, I think it's around about 200,000, but he wants to, to buy a wheel loader to help with the loading of um, bulk products like silage in the silage pit, and potentially sugar beet as well if we run out of space in the uh, production building. Um, you might have to tip it somewhere out the way and then load it with the wheel loader if we buy one so it'll certainly come in handy anyway so that's another thing we might be doing today if not that might be next episode but we'll see how that goes it depends on how much money we have we're about halfway there i think we need around about 200,000. anyway this is going well i'm already half full i'm going to soon need a trailer so i'm hoping dagoin will be coming soon with a trailer um, I think we might need a bigger trailer actually. And now we've got a lorry, we could probably buy a big ASIC trailer and put it on the back of the lorry. It would be handy, I think, because uh, the small grain trailer we've got would not be suitable. And I'm not sure if our size trailer will be suitable either. So I might have to have a word with Dagwin about that and see uh, whether we can buy a bigger trailer for casting this should be. But yeah, anyway, I will get on with this and see how we get on with that. Well, I uh, have a, had a discussion with Dagoin and uh, we've decided to buy the big Arctic trailer for the lorry, the red one, which he's just about to appear with, I think soon here he is to come and unload it because yeah as you can see 43,000 litres already I've only been going for literally a few seconds really or a minute or so um, I just hit a stump I think there's a stump around there somewhere not sure yeah there is a stump yeah <laughs> yeah that's a bit annoying should I lift this up yeah I can Tall trailer, that. 
So, there we go. We have unloading. At least it's a quick unload of this. Doesn't take long to uh, offload 43,000 litres. But yeah, we're definitely going to need this trailer. It's, uh, there's no way that a smaller trailer would keep up at all. So it's a bit unfortunate we've had to spend nearly all the money on it, but at least it will definitely pay for itself, I think, in the long term. It could also be used for other things as well, like silage selling and stuff. So, yeah, it's definitely a worthwhile investment. Because I wouldn't fancy using our small brain trailer for doing this job. <laughs> that would take a while. Anyway, that was a, a kind, of, kind of shortest time lapse than I was expecting, but we'll now get back to a proper time lapse and I will continue hopefully with this field. I'm hoping Dagwin will stick around to do some casting for me as well because otherwise I'm going to be doing everything on my own and it's going to take a while but I think if two of us work on this full time it, it shouldn't take too long to finish this field. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, yep, back to the time lapse. So made a good start on the sugar beet harvesting there. Certainly going to get it done today, that's good. Um, I'll put it on a helper now though, uh, see if I can go on with it. Maybe Dagwin will take over a bit on the combine or the sugar beet harvester as well, because um, he probably wants to have a go with it. So I'll leave it there and we'll jump across into the JCB probably, or the John Deere. No, the JCB is here. Um, and I'll put the drill on wherever that's gone, and uh, we'll get that field drilled with soybeans, I think we're going to do. That's the long field, the big long field, next to where we're harvesting the sugar beet. Because that hasn't been drilled for a while, it's uh, been left empty for a while, so uh, yeah, we need to start getting some fields drilled again. Um, could do with some fertiliser in this drill, actually. Oh, actually, no, soybeans won't need fertiliser, well, that's good, actually. It's going to work out well. What we do need to do, though, is repair this tractor. We'll do the drill as well while I'm at it. There we go. Wow. Okay, that used more money than I was expecting. <laughs> um, right, so tractor's repaired. Um, we now have no money. But we're going to go and uh, get that field drilled now. I'm not sure whether Dagwin will take over on the sugar beet harvest or not, but it's available to him now if he wants to. If not, the help will get most of that field done, I think. There's a bit down the bottom which could be a bit more of a challenge for it though. We know what the helpers are like in this game at the moment. But anyway, I will get on now with drilling the this field with soybeans, get on soybeans. And uh, yeah, that will be another good job done. It will also need rolling of course as well. 
um, but that's not too much of an issue. It's not a, not a massive field. This it's quite long, but it's uh, it's a reasonably good sized field, but it's not ridiculously big, so it shouldn't take us too long to get that done. Anyway, yep, yeah, I'll get on with this. put this uh, drill on a helper now and go back to the sugar beet harvesting because it looks like the helper's found the end of the line. <laughs> can't, get any, can't get any further than this. Just decide to give up so uh, I will finish this off. So it's, uh, yeah, when you get these awkward little corners and stuff at the moment the helper can't cope with that and it just uh, gives up. <laughs> Hopefully that will all change as I've said a few times now. Um, that should all change in FS25, I hope. It looks, from what I've seen so far, it looks very promising. It looks like they actually have been trying to fix the AI on the, on the game. So did the, uh, the field work at AI anyway. So, uh, yeah, just needed to uh, get this field finished off. Not so much more to do now, actually. Should all get into one tank load. And uh, then the last load can go to the sugar mill. I don't know whether you saw on the time lapse, but I did set the sugar mill production to uh, distributing for sugar. So that should go straight into the candy production. Just need uh, water, we've got some water, we just need sugar. It's uh, almost going to start filling up, I think. And then uh, that candy production will be actually running, which is surprisingly quick actually. I wasn't expecting to get that actually going today in a way, but we have. I think we will do. Because uh, the sugar mill is running and it shouldn't be too long until we get some sugar in there. In fact, no, it's already started, hasn't it? It's already started because there's some, there's some candy produced. So, uh, yeah, it's just because it's uh, the, uh, the candy production is obviously using the sugar faster than the sugar mill is producing it. So that's why it's not showing us anything in there, but yeah. Okay, that's good anyway, I'm pleased about that. So we are actually starting to produce some candy. You know, just get this uh, last little bit finished off. got this field drilled now and the other one is all harvested uh, so the next job is to get it rolled um, but I've just realized what we should do before we start that is make a road because I said we we're going to do this after we've harvested the sugar beet field um, so definitely want to be doing this before we put the next crop in otherwise it's gonna um, be a bit annoying trying to get through here because this is a problem we're having previously so I definitely want to get this done. So we're going to sacrifice a small amount of this sugar beet field to put a road through here. Although it's using the money up quite quickly. But I think it's worth doing. 
problem is going to be here where we've got in the trees. Um, I might just take a few trees down. It's just a way of accessing this other field, you see. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, but yeah, the trees are going to be a bit of an issue. So, I don't want to take them all down. But I might have to take a few of the smaller ones down. I can still put the track in with the trees there. There we go. And then that will show me which ones I need to take down. Hopefully not too many. Now I've got proper access into this field here. Right, so Dagwin sent a message. Oh, you see, uh, he wants to, <laughs> he wants to get that. Um, He wants to buy that wheel loader, and uh, yeah, the, we're struggling to get to the 200k because obviously, yeah, we're having to spend quite a bit of money. That road did cost a bit more than I was expecting, but um, yeah, we do need to put the road in. Otherwise, we've got no access, proper access to this other area without obviously cutting through the field, which I don't want to be doing. We need to be quite so wide, possibly, that. Thing is, when you've got combines and stuff, that is about as wide as you need it. Otherwise, it can be too narrow. So when I get up here, I'm going to take a few of these trees down, small ones, and that will open up more. Right. So yeah, we've already got a few bits of wood on the ground as well. So we need to get a trailer over here, really, and load them up. Is that going to be too? Yeah, that's too heavy to move. Yeah. Right, so this one's in the track, so we'll get rid of that one. And I think there's about two or three more. Yeah, this is the problem today. It's been a bit of an expensive day, but I think once the sugar productions are all running, we actually will be making quite a lot of money, and then uh, it won't matter that we spend the money today, because we'll be making, hopefully, quite a lot of money back. There's that one and that one, and that one is a mm, yeah. I think it's going to have to go. It's a little bit in the way. There we go. I won't take any more down. That's pretty good. I think it's a lot better than it was because now we actually have access through to this field without having to worry about crushing the crops. All the logs together as much as possible. There we go, and two more. Just get the branches off. And that's the job complete. Apart from obviously, yeah, there are some stumps as well, which I uh, didn't think about, but they can be done at a later date. They're not going to be an issue really. Only small stumps, and I've cut them quite close to the ground, so they won't be an issue. But we will get them removed when the stump grinder is next over here, and at the same time, we'll move the logs as well because they are going to be a bit in the way. But the important thing is we have a track through now, which is something I wanted to do a while ago when we first noticed that we couldn't get through here very easily. So, yeah, that's a good job done there. These are sticking out into the field a bit, so. This rolls might push them away. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so I'll get on with the rolling now.
so there we go, that's the rolling completed and uh, that's two fields drilled. Although I think Dagmar drilled both of them with soybeans, even though that one, this one here, was uh, spread with slurry. So I'm not sure whether we're going to have the wrong amount of nitrogen in the soil now for soybeans. You're not really supposed to put nitrogen on before soybeans. I wasn't going to do soybeans in this one. pH value good yet. Oh no, no, nitrogen's perfect. All oh, right, okay. Should be okay then. Um, but yeah, soybeans don't need nitrogen, so it's probably a waste of slurry to do that, but never mind. It's not a massive field, that. But the other one should be the perfect nitrogen as well, because that one hasn't had any fertilizer at all. Uh, Dagolin just mentioned we should reconfigure this mower for next episode, because I think he wants to probably do some mowing, I assume, for probably more silage on the grass field over by the cows, so uh, if we put this down to, it's up current on the mulcher, so if we put this back to uh, a mower, then that can be used to cut the grass for um, silage. It's probably about time we got a better mower than this really as well, that's another thing we need, but Dagwin was on about getting this wheel loader, so probably he won't be very happy about wanting to change the mower as well. So for now we'll just stick with this one. I will repair it though, and then put it back on to non-mulching. There we go. So that can now be used as a mower again next time. And that'll be to mow this grass field over here, which will need uh, mowing for, for silage, I assume. Dagoin is in that field currently. He's, I'm assuming he's spraying slurry. Oh no, he's rolling. He must have drilled that as well with uh, canola. Don't think there's any more fields to harvest today. I think that's everything done. Yeah, so we've got this one to uh, to drill as well, but that could probably can be done next episode now. Uh, so yeah, the other the other three fields will be already next time by the looks of it. So we'll be continuing with the uh, sugar beet, no doubt. And we've also got a oat field and a sorghum field to do. How are our livestock looking? Ah, yes, good job I checked. <laughs> Not too good. With all the jobs we've been busy with today, we've all forgotten about the chickens again. So they can have some more wheat or barley. And for some reason, this trailer keeps setting itself to side tip. You don't want to be tight if you want to be uh, back tipping. That's better. Um, have your eggs as well. What's the price of eggs at the moment? Um, August, I think we are. Yeah, average. <laughs> not 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 terrible. Not brilliant. So probably not the time to sell them. Quite a lot of milk again. So yeah, chicken, uh, chickens are good now, and the cows and everything are okay. Oh, water's not too good though. Um, yeah, we still haven't got a water tap, have we? Here's the tanker. Um, I'm gonna have to get the John Deere on that, I think, and fill it with water. I think Dagoin uh, put some, he's been using it, he's obviously been filling up the production with water so uh, I will continue doing that because that production is going to need water too. So, oh, oh stop there, <laughs> nearly crashed into him. He's uh, stopped to tell me that he's done. Right, okay, that was close, I was, <laughs> I was about to put my foot down to race towards this tanker and, and follow Dagoin around and he sort of slammed his brakes on. Right, so this tanker is empty, so I will go and refill that, and we're gonna, well, the cows and that need water, so I'm going to have to do two loads probably. I'll get a load filled up for the production, and then for the cows as well, and then that'll probably be the end of the episode for today, I think Dagoin's finished. So. Uh, just see if I can reverse into here. I'm not at the best angle here. The, the uh, flatbed trailer is kind of in the way. So 
it's a bit tricky. But this is the best place to fill water from because it's less steep. But we do really need a tap or something. We have we can fill from the silo, but that costs money. I'm trying to save money by using the river water. It's just a bit awkward because this is very heavy when it's full. You have to go quite deep to be able to get it to fill up, it seems. Yeah, there we go, it's filling now. So I'll let that fill up and then, uh, well I think we'll prioritise the cows then. We'll probably do the cows today and then probably next time we'll do the production. Because we don't want the cows to run out of water. But there we go, it's full. Hope I can get this back out again. Yeah, this is definitely the best place to fill from. Everywhere else the tanker just seems to sink, but just there, it's fine, usually. <laughs> I've still got to be a bit careful, but it's uh, it's not too bad there. Right, so we'll take this to the cows, and then that will probably be the end of today's video. And then next time, I will continue with the tanker for a start and uh, get another load taken to the uh, candy production confectionery to keep that going. Lots more pallets here at the dairy as well. So all the productions are running well. Just we're not making much money at the moment. <laughs> not selling much. If they were on uh, auto sell, of course, we would make more money, but then we wouldn't actually, we would actually make less money, <laughs> if you know what I mean. We would be getting more money at the moment, but in the long term, we would make less. Right, so let's back this up to the cow trough. I should be using the lorry for this, actually. It would be a lot easier than using the dolly, but it does the job. In line with the yeah, I am. Yeah, okay. So that's working. So I think we'll leave the uh, video there today. I really hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one.